In a high tech world, news such as last week's Boston bombings travels fast from cell phones to computer screens. Sean Lucas, like a social media expert from Creative Marketing and Corning, joins me now live to talk more on how social media is playing a major role in the way news breaks. Good morning, Sean. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. How are you, sir? So, with seconds of the Boston Marathon bombing social sites from Facebook, to Twitter, we're passing along details of the unthinkable tragedy. Um, do you think getting it fast always means getting it right? No, getting it fast doesn't always mean getting it right, but to some people that's more important. And mm -hmm. I think the role that social media plays in news gathering and news reporting is much different from traditional media. Um, it's, it's a venue where you can take in a bunch of different sources at once, mm -hmm. thousands of different sources at once, and it sort of enacts like a newsroom for an individual as you're, as you're reading Twitter updates, mm -hmm. as you're following somebody on Reddit. And, uh, and so you sort of get to be the reporter in some ways. You get to decide where your news comes from, what is a, a legible source, mm -hmm. what is not. And, um, and you get to do that filtering as it's happening. So it's kind of a, a totally different way of, of absorbing the news. And I think it, it got a little more mature during the tragedy last week. You know, it was interesting. You mentioned some, I guess, a new social web thing that I don't even know about. I'm only familiar with Twitter and Facebook, but they're developing new uh, new ones each and every day from Instagram. Um, what do you think was the major major social outlet, like whether it was Twitter or Facebook, that really brought the message During the across? tragedy, I, I think it was Twitter, okay. um, but Reddit was really popular. Okay. And at one point, Reddit had almost 100,000 followers on one thread as somebody updated what they were absorbing from hundreds of different sources. Okay, and also, I, which was really interesting, and we're seeing pictures of the suspects there, uh, the way that the, um, the authorities use social media to help in this case was it was an interesting too it's something new uh, that I saw do you think that this is some kind of new trend that local law enforcement and national law enforcement federal officials are using to help break these cases well I'm not sure that it's a trend yet okay. they shared the pictures and, and it and it got a lot of traction but I think authorities are still trying to figure out how this is exactly going to play in future cases at one point uh, over the the police scanner, which mm -hmm. uh, which hundreds of thousands of people were following from Boston, yeah. um, police actually were giving away their location and then telling people on social media, telling the media, don't share this, we know you can hear us, but please don't share this. So they were in real time trying to figure out what to do, and now they've got time to absorb this new medium and this this new, maybe a fad, maybe not, mm -hmm. but um, a new way of, of following and reporting the news. I know, that's interesting because a lot of people now can listen to scanners online mm -hmm. as well as not only having one in your home. And I know in that specific case, they actually shut down of a scanner line uh, in Boston. Overall, when you look back, it's been over a week since the tragedy in Boston. Uh, what was your overall impression of the way social media handled such this event? You know, I think social media matured throughout mm -hmm. this event. I think. Um, People on social media, people on the scene, people finally realize, I think, that they have a responsibility still to report what's accurate, even mm. though it may be um, hearsay at the time and even though it may be a little bit jumping the gun, they still have a responsibility to be accurate. They still have a responsibility not to hinder an investigation, an ongoing mm. in investigation, and not to release names yeah. you know, that, that might be false names. So um, Twitter and, and social media in general, I think, really matured throughout this process. All right, Sean Lukasik from Creation Marketing and Corning, thank you so much for joining thank us you, this Zach. morning. We appreciate it.